two years ago with Brian Payne, we discussed an idea of how to keep alive traditional boat building. Because as we stand, we are at the end of a vast era of wooden boat building, not just in Cornwall, but in the world. It's disappearing everywhere we see. Somebody has to be proactive in saving these skills for a future generation. Wooden boats are not finished, they're not irrelevant, they're just out of fashion at the moment. So we have to keep these skills alive. Brown Payne has set up a trust called the Farmer Pilot Cutter CIC uh, with the aim of financing projects in building traditional boats and that by doing so, teaching young people the skills that are relevant for the building of these boats and carrying that on to another generation who will hopefully, they will all go off and build their own boats and propagate the idea. We searched around for a worthy vessel to recreate and we chose the Vincent, which is a pilot cutter from St. Moore's that was built in 1852 and lasted a very long time finished working in 1922 and it's quite well documented photographically and we're building in the method that she would have been built in although we're not working like a museum we are using modern tools but we are creating an absolutely authentic structure sawn oak frames that are sourced from forests with the shape already in them Planking is of the shape that fits the boat. And in the process of building this boat, we are sharing our skills with young people that go on to be the next generation. We're looking forward to getting her on the water because she will be a quite an exciting vessel to sail and she'll be performing within the same waters that she did 150 years ago. I've run a business now for ooh, over 20 years, building replicas of various pilot cutters from Isles of City and Falmouth, and that's culminated with this particular project. Once the vessel is launched, she'll go out and work as a charter vessel, with some of these people crewing on her, but the idea is that she'll go and earn her keep and uh, perhaps put a little money back into the yard as well. And the yard will go on then to build other vessels of similar historic value. And we want to make each vessel stand on its own financially. And the yard will carry on maintaining, repairing these vessels as well. Within a year now, we've created a wonderful site that is drawing people from all over not just the county, but beyond, coming to see what we're doing. And it will become quite an iconic site. And there's plans to develop it into a community area for all sorts of maritime projects. And in actual fact, it is perfect spot for what we're doing. We're just across the water from a place called Sunny Corner, where many trading schooners were built in the 19th century. So there's a strong tradition within the Truro area. There was a space we knew of, and the Harbour Master and the Council in Truro have been very helpful and enthusiastic in helping us with this project. And they've given us an, a reasonable rent on the land and a long tenure, so we have a secure place. It's very nice to be somewhere where the local authorities appreciate our presence. I think it's absolutely great. My dad was into boat building. He worked at the old Fox Stanton um, and it's keeping the tradition alive. So I think this is great for youngsters and I'm looking forward, perhaps it will be built before I go out as chairman, um, that I can have a little ride on it as well. Yay. Yay.